Coming up next, Riding Shotgun with Joey DeGraw. This time, Joey travels to Music City, Nashville, Tennessee. A long drive and some new Nashville bandmates make for an interesting weekend. Come along for the ride. On the road trip, huh? Yeah. Where's Fred? Fred's late. Yeah, Fred was supposed to stay over, right? Yeah. So we could be on the road by now. Yeah, I know. He's holding us up. Fred, hey, it's Brian. Where you at, man? Oh, okay, you're almost here. All right, cool. Bye. No, the like the light, the clock and everything is off. The light, because usually when you turn the car on, you at least get the clock even if the radio's off. You know what I'm saying? So it must be like a disconnected wire or a fuse or something like that. <laughs> Ow. What happened? <laughs> oh, no music for 14 hours. I kind of like that to tell you the truth. I got no problem with the radio not working. Actually, you, well, you got music. In you your could just assume anyway. it's in intentional. Fred, you want to play something? No. Maybe later. <laughs> play you something? <laughs> with what? <laughs> On what? Let me get a guitar. I brought two Dobros, just in case I broke a string. There you go. Why not? You know, I only brought one electric for you, though. Which one? Strat. So it's like a 14-hour drive. But what was your theory? If we flew, it would take us probably six or seven at least, right? Well, you got to figure. If you fly somewhere. You gotta leave an hour and a half early to get to the airport in case there's a traffic jam. You gotta get to the airport an hour before your flight leaves, at least. That's an that's two and a half hours. If you fly to say Nashville, it's gonna take you at least two hours, right? Mm hmm That's four and a half hours. When you land, it's gonna take you at least an hour to get out of the plane, get your bags, get to the hotel. That's five and a half hours, six hours. That's assuming nothing's delayed. I'd rather be in the car in my own space. I don't have to shut the phone off. I don't have to take my clothes off, go through security check, or sit next to some stranger coughing all over me. I can pull over whenever I want. You're looking at six hours if nothing's delayed. Something's gonna be delayed. So you're up to eight hours already right there. I did a solo acoustic tour a couple years ago, me and uh, Anderson. It was just the two of us in the van. It was like way more comfortable than traveling with the whole band on the bus. Sure. Yeah. And we weren't locked in a parking lot, you know, when the bus is parked, you're stuck there. I like the van better. I've had some of my best sleep in the van. Yeah. Like with the rain pattering on the roof like a, you know, like you're camping or something. We uh, meeting up with Seth down there? No, I gotta use a different drummer. Oh, uh, Seth's busy? He double booked himself. Uh, I never met this kid. He's gonna play. You guys gonna have a chance to rehearse a little? I don't know, maybe not. Send him a record. Yeah. The bass player too, you never played with, right? I played with him once. I always feel better when we, you know, we get on the open road. You know, when, when there's a road that's got like a 200 mile stretch and that's the first road, I'm like, yeah. Ah, let's sleep all the way there and then go to sleep when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Fred, we're in Pennsylvania. Oh, he's sleeping. <laughs> Four o'clock. Just hit Maryland. Still got a ways to go. Yeah. Better than Jerry Reed, seriously. Oh, oh my God, no. 